Hi, I'm Ron Parth from Parpools.com, and this morning I have a new friend with me, and his name is Buster. And today we're going to talk about pool care and pets. Um, dogs, by and large, like the water, and some of them love the water. Cats, well, not so much, but dogs, dogs love it. And, and frankly, swimming pools are, are a good place to have your pet, especially if they're getting to be a little bit on the on the older side, like 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 Buster here. Water is really good for them as far as exercise. If they've got uh, some arthritis problems and some bad joints, being in the water, swimming in the pool is a good thing for them. But you want to keep them safe and you want to keep them happy. So let's talk about uh, about water care and, 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 your, and, and your pet. So water care is very important. And a couple things you have to keep in mind. The first thing you have to keep in mind is that each dog is equal to a lot more humans. The way the math works is that one dog can equal somewhere between 10 and 50 humans, depending on breed, depending on their on their on what kind of fur or, or, or hair that they happen to have, depending on how large the breed is. All of those factors are going to make a difference. You know, a, 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 a dog like 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 Buster here. He's probably worth, uh, oh, maybe about 15 or 20 human beings as compared to a Chihuahua, which may be equal to about 5 or 10. So you want to take into consideration, you know, how much shedding your pet does, what kind of fur they have, and you just have to keep, it, keep a good eye on that. Um, the other part with, with pet hair is, just as you pet owners know, it's not just the pet hair but it's also the dander. And those two things can, can cause a little bit of problem with, with the pool if you don't take, take care of it. But the good news is there's lots of easy ways to handle that. One of the things that, that, you, that you really want to maintain is the fact that, you're, is that you're, you're, your pool water is, and its balance is just as important for, for your pet as it is for you. So, whether it's pH, total alkalinity, calcium hardness, all those things come, come into play. So make sure you, you maintain those for the, for the health and safety of your, and the comfort of your animal. All right, let's talk about a couple things. One thing you want to do is, before them going into the pool and after they get out, make them, make them shower. Give, give them, a, give them a, a, a quick shower. That's just going to take off any excess uh, fur or dander so it doesn't get get into the pool. And, and, and you, want to, you want to do that before you take it off. And when they get out of the pool, you also want to give them a shower just to just to wash off any, any chemicals that have gotten onto them. Uh, maintain a good chlorine level or a good sanitizer level. As we said, one one dog can equal somewhere between 10 and 50 humans. So you're putting a lot of excess, excess sta strain on the pool and on the pool chemical and, and treatment system. So you have to take care of that. When it comes to the fur and the, and the, and the pet dander, you have to remember that the, those, those wicked things called phosphates. And phosphates are, are naturally occurring. You, you and me, we shed phosphates from dead hair, and dead skin cells. And the same thing is going to happen with your pet being in, in the pool. You want to take care of the pet dander and the phosphates. And you can take care of phosphates by using a good enzyme product uh, or so, and, and something that has a phosphate remover to take that out. Phosphates, as, we, as we've talked about, can feed algae. So the, 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 less, the less phosphates you have in there, the better. Uh, on top of it all, a product like, like Nature Care is also going to make the pool feel, feel softer. The enzymes are going to help to consume some of the other stuff that, that, our, that our furry friends are going to bring in so that you can use less, less chlorine or less sanitizer over the, over the course of the, of the season. If, you ha if, you're, if your dog's in the pool with you, make sure you shock the pool on a regular basis. You want to, you want to treat the pool very, very well. In your skimmer basket, use a skim mower or a skimmer sock, and what that's going to do is that's going to trap a lot of the a lot of the fur, the hair, 
the dander before it gets into the into the pump and then potentially clogs up the pump. We don't, we don't want to do, do that. The final thing I want to talk about is, is, is pet safety. We all love our our pets, even brand, brand new friends. We want to keep them safe when, the, when, they're, using, when they're using the pool. Sometimes they're going to want to just stray in and they're going to want to just jump in all by their lonesomes. We don't, we don't want that. It's not a good idea. You always want to accompany your pet in, into the pool. Never swim alone. More, almost as importantly as never swimming alone with your with the with the pet. You you want to make sure they have a good simple way to get in and out of the pool. And one of the best products out there is a, is a product called the Scamper Ramp. The Scamper Ramp, as you can see, is is a is a white sturdy board to help your pool get in and out. It's white because. White is, is one color or lack of color that everybody, that every eye can see. Now you want to put it in a strategic place to help your, help your pet get in and out of the pool. Um, another way to have, have some fun is if, if they're a, a little bit older and a little bit lazier, put them on a, on a, on a paddle paw. Paddle paws are a great tool where they can just float around in the pool with you and have a little bit of, a bit of fun. Anyway, that's it. Hey, Buster. Buster. Buster's fun. Your pets are fun. Keep them safe. Keep them in the pool. Keep them cool. Enjoy the pool. If you have any questions, please don't, don't, don't hesitate to write or email me or call me. You can also visit our website at parpools.com forward slash my pet for some more information. Thanks for watching.